Hey guys, Tonic here, and welcome back to another Top Photos of the Week. This week was pretty nuts. We had a lot of really good photos, and it was extremely challenging to try and take this down to a Top 15, but I think I did pretty good on it, so let's get started. First up, we have a photo from Gadepool, and it's a beautiful close-up of the Flatwoods monster. Usually, you don't get to see the Flatwoods monster this close. They're very rare in general. Then on top of that, by the time you get this close, usually you're in combat. So this photo is really nice. I like seeing all the details. I've actually never really seen it this close before, so it's pretty cool. Normally, by the time that you kill it, the purple ore goes away, its eyes stop glowing, it just kind of shrivels up on the ground. So seeing it this close is, again, just really neat. Next up, we have a photo from Corsi Cash, and this one's really cool. I don't exactly know where it is. I believe it's down at Biv's place at the tattoo parlor, but I'm not 100% sure. But regardless of the location, the shot is really cool. I love the emote that you're doing. It definitely fits the scene perfectly. And overall, I mean, it's just a really fun shot. Next up, we have a very red looking shot from Psychonautic, and I like that about this. I believe it's a red filter, but I'm not 100% sure because it does kind of look like it's down in the burning mines. And there is a lot of red stuff down there, but I don't think it's that red. Maybe it is. I not 100% sure, but regardless, it's a very cool shot. It definitely has that raider kind of vibe to it with the power armor skins that they are wearing, and it just looks like they're about to suit up and go into some heavy combat. The next photo comes to us from Revenant over on Discord, and this one stuck out to me. I really like when people can pull off using that actual location filter with the location itself because sometimes they just don't match up very well, but this one matches completely perfectly. It has little dirt speckles on there. It almost looks like a postcard, like a real life postcard. It's just really cool. Now the next photo comes to us from Mr. Wizard, and it is a very, very weird photo. And I like it a lot. I chose this one just because the location is extremely interesting. I actually have no idea where this is. I tried to Google it, I tried to YouTube it, I even tried asking around on a few people on Discord, and nobody could know where this location was. It has to be in the mire somewhere, but regardless, looking at the photo, it's really cool. It just kind of looks like a Brotherhood scout went out to go and find some technology, and he just found a giant pile of bicycles, and he's just standing looking down in defeat. It's a really cool cool looking photo it has it's just a, such a unique location as well and overall I mean it's it had to make the list it's just so cool the next photo on the list comes to us from Tomai and this one's really cool I like the use of perspective here looking like they're about to smash that skeleton with a giant mallet or that they maybe have already smashed that skeleton with the mallet and it's just really cool I like when people kind of use perspective of kind of standing in front of something so that it looks smaller they just look like a giant in power armor going around just beating things with a mallet I, I think it's pretty cool the next photo comes to us from Blackburn over on Discord, and the caption with this one is when you install a horror mod for Fallout 76, and it definitely has that kind of vibe to it. It's very scary looking, very dark, and I mean overall it's just a really nice shot. Next up we have a photo from Twice Baked Spuds, and they actually submitted a few bangers. There's some actually really cool photos that they did, but this one is my favorite, and the reason why is kind of cheesy, but when I looked at it, the first thing I thought of was train hopping, because they're sitting on the train tracks with a bunny costume. It's very cheesy, I know it's very cheesy, but that was kind of the first thing that came to my mind. It's kind of cute, so I think this one deserves to be on the list. The next photo looks like one of those ones that Bethesda themselves would actually post as a promotional image, and it comes to us from the Aura Straw. It's a really cool shot down in the deep, and they have their jetpack on with their rifle and their headlamp on their power armor, looking like they're about to fly down there and just start blasting. It's a really cool shot, and again, just very worthy being on this list. I love photos that have that very professional kind of aspect to them, and this one certainly does. Up next, we have a photo from Ozzy Mandias, and this photo is very cool. It's down at the Waste Disposal Site, which is a workshop, and I actually have no idea what those giant triangle things are for. If anyone knows, let me know. Whenever I go there, I always try and wonder what these things are for, what the purpose of these things are, but regardless of that, talking about the photo, it's a very beautiful shot with a nice green tint kind of glowing everywhere, and he's just waltzing right through it in his radiation suit. I also think that there's a Snallygaster in there, so maybe he's going to fight the Snallygaster, who knows. So now we are in the top 5 territory, and I gotta say, this is the toughest end of a video I've had to make in a very long time. The last photos remaining are absolutely phenomenal. They are such good photos, but I'm gonna try and rank them right here, so we're gonna start off with Spartan Gunners. When I first saw this photo, I honestly thought that it was from the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod. It is just such a nice photo with the riot gear on, with the 50 cal muzzle on the hunting rifle. He looks like he's about to go patrol the Mojave, and... It is just a really cool shot. I really like this one a lot. Next up, we have a beautiful shot from Sting, also wearing the Elite Riot gear, which is really cool. But the lighting here is just absolutely phenomenal. I really like that jukebox, and then it kind of like lights over onto it. It almost looks like a Source SFM kind of video. It's very cool. Like, it almost doesn't look like Fallout, and a few people were saying that in Discord as well, that it doesn't really look like Fallout, but it is. It's 100% Fallout 76, and it just has such a cool look to it, so it's definitely up here in the top five. 
Next up we have another one of those shots that doesn't even look like it's from Fallout 76. This shot comes to us from Hyperdink 2011, and this looks straight out of Fallout 4 like you're creating a synth version of Hancock. I actually have no idea where this is in the game, I believe it's the quest line with the encrypted where you have to go to the taxidermy to do all that kind of stuff for the imposter sheep squatch. I think it's there, but I'm not 100% sure, but regardless, it's an absolutely beautiful shot, and again, I really think it looks like Hancock is standing there, but I know it's not. Coming in at number two, we have Dovahkiin, and wow, this shot is such a cool shot. It looks like the US just conquered the moon or something like that. They're standing there in their Captain Cosmos power armor, the headlamp looking upon the American flag just kind of flowing around with the night sky. It is a beautiful shot, and that's 100% worthy of being in the top five. You know, coming in at my top photo this week, it is an absolutely gorgeous shot from NTN. This shot, I love so much. There's so much to love about this. Just starting off the reflection in the water is really cool looking. I love also how the water's like waist tight and they're wading through it with their rifle and looking off in the distance for danger. I love the lights on the shoulders, the headlamp light just kind of glaring off and even the lighting and everything like that, the coloring, that kind of yellowish orange tint going on. There is just so much to love about this photo and it's just a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love this photo. Great job. So a massive congratulations to NTN on being this week's top photo, and a huge thank you to everybody who stopped by and watched, and as always, a massive thank you to all the channel members, Chad of Fallout 76 Podcast, Timothy James as Death 93 Heather Henderson, Yosevated, Patrick Ruda, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Argent Deer, Bowser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Robert Kennard, Theodore, Captain Awesome, Digital Aardvark, Lone Samurai OG, DFN Gaming, Christy Mellon Schwitz, you guys are amazing, I love you guys, and have a good week.